Ah, hello. While Scientologists call those who speak out as suppressive persons, or another term, bitter apostates, you know, ones, the ones who speak out and speak out about cult abuses and whatever shit that cult does to people that have spoken out and escaped, well, that's very well documented. The other thing about the fringe is that they rather do the same exact thing, or maybe they don't. I don't know. I've been an ex for 11 years. So, that's a long time. A long time from leaving. So this is what they call those who speak out and those are, who are exes. The ones who have made the actual escape. They call them a shill, a spook. Cook. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's just a refer to a conspiracy theorist, but whatever. A spy, an agent, a plant, informant, or an operator of whatever. That's what they call people. A shill, a spook, a spy, an agent, a plant, informant, or operator. That's pretty much what they call those who've left and they continue to speak out about it. Or when they get called out, they will call anyone either of those words. It's pretty fucking easy. Or wait, the other term is paid actor or actresses. That's what they'll call them too. I almost forgot about that one. Yeah. I haven't been called that yet, but I would laugh because I don't got no acting skills. Okay? It would take a lot of work for me to actually start acting. And I haven't started any movies or major films, minor films or whatever or indie films. I don't intend to, but that's what they call people. Pretty funny. Yeah. Well, about, well, that's really all I gotta say. I may have intended the video to be longer, but I just thought I'd put that out there. It's probably well known about the paid actor shit, because anyone who escaped the QAnon faction was called that. I don't know if they were ruthlessly attacked, stalked, or whatever. Because Scientology does that with their fair game policies, and that's fully well documented. The French probably have done similar things, but, well, it doesn't work out for them too well. Because they're, well, the mindset is fully latched onto irrational fears and paranoia. Oh yeah. That's what happens. But once you seek help, you pretty much rid that paranoia, that irrational fear. Over time, it goes away. That's generally what you gotta do. I got that help. It took a while. It took a long while, but I got that help. Okay. Have a good day, everybody. Peace out. And if you're on the fence and you have doubt, sorry, doubts, which you're allowed to have, and you're stuck in a cult, don't be afraid to seek exit cult counseling. Don't be afraid to seek an ex who have, literally, who have left that cult. Maybe very beneficial to you, and you'll be able to make your escape easier. That's all I gotta say. Doesn't take much. Plant the seeds without. It grows like a fucking weed. And it's very hard to eradicate doubt. It is, however, a timely process to eradicate cult influence. Cheers.